So we are currently on the rooftop of the uh, Arax and Codetech headquarters. And the reason why we chose this place is because this is in a suburban area and within a metropole where there are multiple different frequencies and multiple different disturbances to showcase to you that the Luna Mesh and the Orbi 2, which I'm holding here in my hands, connected to a battery pack, can function entirely without internet. Now, first, let's talk about the devices which I have here on the table. First and foremost, we have the Orbi 2 and the Luna Mesh, which is in this prototype over here. It is connected with a normal, standard, omnidirectional antenna that you can find in your local household connected to your normal Wi-Fi. We are currently working on our own proprietary antennas which can do much further distances which is the proprietary Luna antennas. But more about the device. This is multiple nodes running within this little box and the beautiful part about it is that we're running a blockchain node, a miner, we're running several other instances which makes it a multi-node device. It is also connected to the Luna node itself, all running in this little box over here that's got decentralized storage, it's got a decentralized search engine, it's got everything actually running only within this little device. Now, the difference between this device and this device, this is a simple Luna sender and receiver, which allows to leapfrog the network and allows this computer to be able to be connected into the network itself. We can also connect mobile devices without needing any third-party software or normal laptops without needing third-party um, connectors or devices or anything like this to the Wi-Fi that this can also distribute. What we're going to prove today in this use case is to transmit a video call with the Ting platform over a distance of 500 meters to that castle over there from here, not using any form of internet or alternative connectivity other than the Luna Mesh network. So let's get into showcasing the use case. Okay, so let's prove this use case right now where I'm using the standard laptop connected to the Luna Mesh. We are going to connect 500 meters to the castle, no internet, and we're going to have a Ting meeting on Luna Mesh. So, just to prove to you, I'm also recording my screen. I'm going to showcase here no internet access whatsoever. And now we are going to start the meeting. Start instant meeting. So here I will go and say the room name. Ting meeting on Luna. And I'll type in my name. Scroll down. Start the session. I will prove to you. I will type in google.com and you will see we're having trouble finding this site which means it's not connected to the Luna Mesh there is no internet whatsoever on this computer so and we're running the Ting platform which is running within the Luna Mesh that is how amazing this platform is and Mate will join us in a moment Mate. Hi, Oki. Hi, guys. How are you? Perfect. Everything's great. <laughs> you look uh, very nice and bright there in the sun. 
Yeah, I, I got the chance to be directly on the stand. <laughs> so where are you, my friend? Uh, I'm partly in the castle. This phenomenal view, and of course, you can tell us what we are achieving now. Well, I uh, explained it a little bit earlier, but um, 500 meters away, you're sitting at the castle. I'm at the rooftop of the Arax headquarters, uh, Arax and Kotec headquarters, and um, this is absolutely phenomenal. Serverless, borderless, peer-to-peer, end-to-end encrypted, unintercepted, and even no internet connectivity whatsoever on Luna Mesh. We're having a Ting meeting. I don't think you can get any better than that. So. I want to ask you one favor. Can you tell me what time and date is it there by you right now to prove to our viewers that it's real time? So, from my side, 12.31 minutes, 4th of July. Fantastic, thank you very much. And um, then can you do me another favor and just on your screen share, which you're doing or screen record that you're doing right now, can you please Google for me uh, or type in google.com in a new tab to prove that there is no connectivity? Absolutely, I'll be very happy to do that. So as you can see here, I am trying to go to the website google.com, but there is no internet internet disconnected but at the same time we are on the on the meeting so this is incredible so my friend th thank you very much for helping me prove this use case and i'll see you a little bit later back at headquarters it was my pleasure guys thanks hey ciao you're welcome bye bye and that's it proving no internet, serverless, borderless, peer-to-peer, end-to-end encrypted, uninterceptable connectivity. Connectivity is a human right, and we will deploy this.